Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use VLOOKUP function in Excel. VLOOKUP is probably one of the most used Excel functions. You use VLOOKUP when you have a lookup value and you have to extract a corresponding value in some other column. Let me make it more clear by using an example. So I type VLOOKUP and I hit tab to autocomplete the function. You can see VLOOKUP takes four arguments. The first one is the lookup value, a value that you're looking for. The second one is the table array. The third one is the column index. And fourth one is the range lookup. Now let me show you what these means. So in this case, let's suppose I'm looking for the value Tom. So in this data, I'm looking for Tom. The table array is this array, this entire array. Make sure that if you are looking for Tom, then the column in which you are looking should be the leftmost column. So since this column has Tom, this should be my leftmost column. I cannot have a column to the left of it and select it as my table array. So my lookup value would always be looked into in the leftmost column of the table array. So now I have the lookup value as Tom. I'm looking in this entire array. This is my leftmost column. And I say that I want this formula to return the value corresponding to Tom in the second column. So my intent here is to identify that these guys, Arjun, Jay, and Tom, these guys made a sale in these quarters. I want to identify Tom made a sale in which quarter. The answer is Q4 2013. But to get it from the formula, I'm looking for this value in this table array and I want to first locate this value in this table and then return the corresponding value in the second column. And I want an exact match. So the last, which is range lookup, tells Excel that I'm looking either for an exact match or an approximate match. In this example, let me take exact match. I'll talk about approximate match later. You can either double click and uh, select false. You can either manually type false or even better, you can simply type zero here. Now I hit control enter and this gives me Q4 2013. Let me revisit this formula again. I was looking for the value Tom in this table array. This was my leftmost column, the column that has Tom. I said, look for this value Tom and return the value from the second column, the corresponding value from the second column. And this should be an exact match. So this gives me Q4 2013. In the above example, I asked Excel to return the value from the second column. In this example, I want to return a value from the third column. So I'm looking for the value again, Tom. I've selected this entire table array. I'm asking it to return the corresponding value from the third column. And again, it should be an exact match. So I would simply type zero. I would close the parenthesis and hit control enter. And this returns 3000 because that is the value corresponding to Tom in the third column of the table array. Now, this is when we use exact match. But you can also use approximate match in some conditions. Let me show you an example. In this case, I'm looking for the value 1500 in this table array. So I've only selected one column. Remember, the value you are looking for should be in the leftmost column of the table. Since in this case, I only have one column, it is fine. But I cannot select this and look for 1500. If I select this entire thing, I would have to look for either Arjun or Jane or Tom. If I have to look for these values, I should select the table array that starts with this column. So I have 1500 as the lookup value. I select this entire column. In column index number, since there is only one column, I would type one. And I have two options, either an exact match or an approximate match. Let me show you what happens when I select approximate match. So when I select it, it comes as out as true. You can also type one. I hit control enter and this returns 1000. Now the way this works is that Excel goes to this column and start looking for these values one by one from top to bottom. Since the lookup value is 1500, it looks at the first value. It finds 
a no match so it moves to the second value in the row below it and it finds no match but this value is higher than the lookup value so it would stop there and give you thousand so it will go back and give you thousand it can only give you two values either thousand or two thousand but since this is higher than the lookup value it goes back and give you the value which is the largest value just smaller than your lookup value in this table this turns out to be thousand had I been looking for 2500 then my answer would be 2000 why because Excel is looking for 2500 it goes here checks this is not a match moves forward checks for 2000 this is again not a match moves forward checks for 3000 this is not a match but this is higher than my lookup value so it goes back to the value which is the highest value lower than the lookup value and returns 2000 so this is how ex approximate match works but for this to work give you the correct answer do ensure that your list is sorted in an ascending order if this is not sorted in an ascending order there is a high probability that you may get a wrong result what happens if you look for a value higher than 3000 say I look for a value higher than 3000 which is 3500 this would return 3000 because this is the last value and this is the last value which is largest but lower than the lookup value now let me show you what happens if I use the same technique with exact match if I'm looking for 1500 in this table array in the first column but I am using exact match and I hit control enter and this gives, this gives me a not available error because 1500 is not in this and since I'm looking for an exact match it cannot find it here had I had a value 1500 it would have returned that value but since I do not have it in this list it gives me an error you can also apply the same approximate match funda with the text so let me show you how it works say I'm looking for T alphabet T in this entire table which is A3 to C5 and I want to extract the corresponding value from the third column and it's an approximate match let me type 1 here and I hit control enter and this returns 2000 now let me sh let me explain why this happens Excel went up to this this list and it started checking since this value which has these words does not start with T it starts with an alphabet that is lower in ranking than T it moves forward it looks at Jane Jane again starts with J which is lower than T it moves forward and it sees Tom which starts with T but it has additional characters additional alphabets which is O and M which means that this is higher in ranking as compared to standalone T and therefore it goes back to the largest value smaller than the lookup value which is Jane and returns the corresponding value what will happen if I change this Tom to only T when I do this it returns 3000 because now there is an exact match but if I type T A it would return 2000 because now T A is higher in ranking than T so it goes back to the largest value smaller than the lookup value so this is how VLOOKUP works in Excel I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day